You are so cute in those glasses. Thank you, Lynn Evans, for the awesome goggles. These will not get knocked off. There's a strap and they're gonna be amazing and keep my eyes. When he wears these everywhere, I'm gonna be like, Lynn. <laughs> they go good with your new teeth. Yeah, they will. All right, so we have been working diligently on the roof for days and days, it's still not done. But before we go any further and add insulation, we're gonna be cutting some holes in for dun -dun -dun -dun, lighting. So we have a couple spots, even with the addition of the light over the sink, that's pretty dark. And I think it's because of these big beams that we have in the ceiling. There's a lot of shadows on the roof, especially at night. The skylight keeps it bright during the day, but at night we get big pockets where there's just, it's dim and it feels kind of gloomy. And when I'm making those freezer cookies and frozen pizzas, I need task lighting in my kitchen. So we opted for smart lights because we're doing smart lighting in the whole entire house. These are LEDs and they're gonna fit great in our remodel cans. I'm up here on the roof adding the cricket that needed to be added so that the water drains off. I actually don't know why it's called a cricket, but essentially it's just where two parts of the roof meet. So far, I've only got this one side done. Harrington's got this side stripped. Jamie finished stripping this side here. I gotta clean it up and sweep it off. And we've got a few more shingles down on this side here that need cleaned up. And then we have to do this same thing over here on all of these hips and get these. You can see these shingles are starting to warp on here on the south side and they, uh, they, they gotta go too. I probably could have built this system over the old shingles, but I didn't wanna put the spray foam insulation on the old asphalt shingles. It's gonna remove a lot of weight off this old roof to take this off. So I gotta get rid of that. All right, I've got my board cut. This is going to be the support for the rafters that I'm essentially going to build for the Cricut. I put a nail in up there, hooked my chalk line on there, found my angle, and then chalk lined all the way down so that I've got a nice straight line to where the edge of the Cricut's gonna end. Standing on the old roof, looking at the new roof. <laughs> Still got so much work to do. Now I've made a big mess up here. This cricket is built, it kind of unifies the two homes and makes them one. I've got to put one more little cricket so that the water doesn't just run off over here. There used to be a fireplace in the kitchen here and they had framed around it. You couldn't even see it was there until we peeled the wood back. And we went ahead and took that out and we're gonna just put a skylight in the hole where that was. For a long time, we just had an Ikea bag sitting up in there, keeping the rain out. And then when it started to get cold and snowing, we installed the skylight. But now I've got that out and we're gonna insulate around that and raise that skylight up a little bit. But you do so good. Well, you know, I keep telling myself I'm saving money so that way we can afford to buy a pool. So it makes it all worth it, right? Sure. Okay. I found if you come from the side, it peels up easier because there's tar on the top there that's designed to like lay down and when it's hot like this, it gets sticky. Yeah. Yep. It's like once you get like a corner popped up, there you go. I mean, if I wasn't afraid of falling off, I could go faster, but. Well, yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. Just think, if you fall off on this side, there's soft grass down there. I'd probably land on that pole and that tree and on the asphalt. <laughs> You'd have to jump pretty hard to get to the asphalt from here. Well, you know, stranger things have happened. <laughs> Jamie doesn't do the heights, so she gets as far down to the edge as she can, sitting on the edge of that ridge beam, and then uh, then she leaves the rest the last little bit for me. Yeah, but I did good. 
Yeah, you're really cruising. Let's see how well this drill can handle spinning this. I might have to resort to a bigger drill. It's a lot to turn for this battery powered drill. We'll see if it can handle it. The answer is yes, the drill can handle it. Look at that perfectly round hole, I love it. No jigsaw or messing around, it's just a nice round hole to insert the can lighting. Thank you so much, Lynn. It was perfect timing on these goggles. Look at all this sawdust raining down on me that is not getting in my eyes. Well, it's got a flange and there's gonna be insulation all around it. Jamie, how's this one looking? Is it looking centered over the top? Too much? You're right, so my left, half a centimeter. There's good? Okay. Oh, here's my half of the sink. So the only problem is now I'm like, ooh, we could use some more lighting over there and over <laughs> there. Like eight more can lights, 12. You know, right now is the time to do it because once I put that foam insulation up in between those rafters, there will be no more electrical ran through the ceiling unless it'll be external and you'll see it all. If you give the mouse a cookie or if you give Jamie a can light, she's gonna need a few more. I'm loving how the roof line is turning out. I love that the Cricut is putting the old in the new and making it look like one. I also love that I don't have a dark, dingy, like old house kitchen. You know when you go to old house and you're like, oh, the lighting is all yucky? It's super bright. So I'm super excited about that. I love that they're smart lights and I love that we're just, you know, we're getting there. Eventually we're gonna have a ceiling and a roof and floors. Eventually. Yeah. Make sure you guys are hitting up jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products we use in our home and on our DIY videos, jamierayvintagehome.com for our clothes and our home decor. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Thank you.